And welcome, welcome. We are taking a look at secret. Secret Agent Mission 1, and, uh... As a member of the Secret Intelligence Agency, you must select a code number which will serve as your identification for all official business. Select number up to three digits. Hmm. 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 Zero. 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 Do you want to skip the dossier? No, I, let's check out this dossier because the dossier will probably be the sum of this video. File, Melton, Rupert H. 1951, graduated XYU with a PhD in physics. Worked in a Washington-based think tank on weapons design for many years. Presented idea for the energy synchronizer referred to hereafter as ES. A weapon which concentrates high amounts of energy at certain coordinates to create explosions. Resigned position after several government disagreements with officials. Moved to one of the islands off the coast of a little known area named Batangali. Worked thick thing or weapons design. I made too good a weapon, you didn't like it, so I'm gonna go. Retire. I'm gonna go move retire to my own private island. This is Agent 411. Several weeks ago, we got word that Mr. Melton was planning something, so we sent 411 to investigate. He hasn't been heard from since. Did you give him a phone? Is there cellular service on this island? Yesterday, this letter was delivered to the central office of the UN. Gentlemen, it has occurred to me that a man of my greatness needs a kingdom equally great. Therefore, I have come to the inevitable conclusion that I must rule the world. As you know, my creation, the energy synchronizer, is the most powerful weapon known to man, except nuclear weapons. With it, there is no way you can stop me, except with nuclear weapons. I am gratefully, I am gracefully giving you 48 hours to recognize me as your new leader, or I will begin destroying cities throughout the world until you give me, until you give in. I hope this will be unnecessary, but I assure you, I mean what I say. Sincerely, your highness, Mr. Melton. Do you say Mr. Melton if, you, if you're your highness? Do you say, like, your highness, uh, Miss Windsor, Mrs. Windsor, your, your most holiness, Mr. Benedict the Seventh. I don't, I think you say your highness, Marvin Melton the third or something that would make more sense mr melton and i just want to say i'm gonna let this scroll out first but uh i want to say if mr melton has a phd would he not refer to himself as a doctor? You know? Like uh, Ross on Friends, he's got a PhD, so he's Dr. Ross. So shouldn't it be Your Highness, Dr. Melton, not Mr. Melton? That is, uh, is wrong in more ways than one. But here we go. We know what he says about the ES is true. To quote Mr. Rex Walker from the Defense Department. Do we have to put Mr. there? The ES makes the atom bomb look like... Souffle. Okay, but this atom bomb is uh, still a big deal, is it not? Our original idea was to bomb Melton's Island, but since then we've learned that he has an automatic firing device which will trigger the ES if the island is attacked. Your mission is to somehow deactivate this detonating mechanism long enough to allow us to blow up the island. Once you have succeeded, turn the dial on the watch that we've given you. This will transmit a signal back to the office that you've completed your mission. After we receive this signal, you will have 30 minutes to get the hell to get to the shore of 
Melton's Island, where a helicopter will be waiting for you. At the end of 30 minutes time, our bombers will blow that island off the face of the earth, regardless of whether you're on that helicopter or not. But, uh... So if I got 30 minutes to get to... So, I got 30 minutes... To get to the beach, and then a helicopter is going to pick me up. Let's say I get there at 29 minutes to go, and then the bomber is going to hit at 30 minutes. So I'll have one minute to vacate with the helicopter. Is that true? Maybe they're not dropping atomic bombs. You've been booked on the next flight to Batangali and should arrive there at 1 o'clock. I don't know if that's a.m. or p.m., which will leave you exactly 15 hours before Melton's deadline. We've also made reservations for you at the Batangali Hilton. I think the Hilton is 1L, under the name of Jose Caldera. Keep in mind that once Melton finds out you're on the island, he'll do anything possible to have you killed. So proceed with extreme caution and trust no one. Oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Play some poker and order a drink too. A special hotline has been set up for this mission. The number is 247-6658. What's the area code? Contact us whenever you can. Good luck, zero, 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 destruct. The fate of the world is in your hands. Well, um, I'm going to give you guys a heads up. I can't get past the first two minutes of this game, so let's see what we can do now. I haven't played this game in ages, but uh, that was the case. Now here I am on a plane, and then this is like a text adventure. Oh, you are in an airplane. You see a door in an emergency exit with a sign on it. Enter command. Take gun. Got it. Uh, look out window. Look window. You see an island in the distance. Look box. Your noun is not in my vocabulary. You must get a... Before you get a chance to move... Uh oh you hear a plane flying by. <laughs> the pilot screams. Suddenly the plane goes out of control and into a nosedive. Oh no! Enter command. Enter cockpit. That's inappropriate. What? Uh, open door. It's locked from the inside. Shoot the door. I just say shoot door, I think, right? Enter cockpit. Here I am in the cockpit. Oh, no, he did! Heading for a mountain. There's a cabinet here. Enter command. Open cabinet. Take parachute. Now, now comes the problem. How do I get out of this cockpit? Uh, jump. Okay. Uh, exit cockpit. Leave cockpit. Turn around. Oh, the plane crashed into a mountain and burst into flames, or so I presume. And uh, I'm dead. Now, I've played this game some 30 years ago and that's as far as I ever got. Yes. Let's play this game again. Let's try to get out of this accursed cockpit. No, I don't need this. I don't need this crap. Why isn't this centered also? I don't need this. Shh. It's both intelligence wrong. There's two L's in that word. Zero. Zero. One. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I do. Take the gun. Sit down. Sit chair. Sit on chair. Okay. 
shoot door, enter cockpit, right? Open cabinet, take parachute. Now, how in hell do I get leave? Like exit? Um, oh, enter cabin maybe, enter cabin. Oh no! Look cockpit. Jump out window. Exit cockpit. Exit door. Leave door. How do I get out of that accursed cockpit? I don't understand. There's a like there's an emergency door in the plane. If you know how to get the hell out of the plane, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Get me in the game. Yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Two, get it on. Hell yes, I want to go directly to the game. Hell yes, please. Take the gun. Shoot door. Enter cockpit. Enter cockpit. Right. Open cabinet. Take parachute. Now, open exit door. Oh, oh God. Exit emergency door. I got one last chance to get out of here. I'm dead. How do I get out of this? Occur Walk backwards. Turn up. Oh my goodness. Pull on stick. Take controls. Search the body. Check pilot. Hmm. Give it one more go. How do I get out of that cockpit? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand. Is this like, is this like a uh, early copy protection? They make it. Like, they make starting the game so obtuse that you can't get out of the bloody cockpit and jump out the emergency door. It's like, oh, it's. Blindingly obvious what the hell I'm supposed to be doing, but I mean, I don't understand how to do it. As a kid, as an adult, as a, as a human being. Open exit. What? Read sign. Lift latch. Oh my goodness, maybe I can say that from the cockpit. Lift the latch. Okay. Lift latch, how about I lift the latch? Okay, enter a shoot door. You are mid-air. Pull a shoot. <laughs> uh, open, open parachute. Oh no. Oh no, I forgot the parachute. What does this cloud look like to you? It's kind of a strange cloud shape. Um, uh, uh, let's see. Meditate on life choices. 
Okay. Wax poetic. Uh, um, okay. Oh! One more go. I don't know. Get out of that car. So I know how to open the door. I just lift the latch. E enter. Did I enter exit? Is that is that what the hell I did? Surely not. You gotta go with, uh, oops, what's going on? Gotta go with the man! Me also give me luck. Give me some luck? Hell yes. Take the gun! Shoot door! Dance around. Okay, enter. Cockpit. Alright. Oh! Open. I should have checked, like, what's, what's that room called? Take a parachute. Like, it's a cabin, is it not? Exit cockpit doesn't work. Leave cockpit didn't work. Cabin. Enter plane. It's a it's like a cabin, is it not? Return to cabin. That's not. That's too long. Like exit cockpit. No. Leave cockpit. Go south. Lift the latch. No. I need to know what this room is called. Enter cabin. Surely. Surely. Enter. It's not inappropriate. It's perfectly appropriate when the exit door is at the in the bloody cabin. This is that's what it's called. Enter passenger compartment. I gotta, I gotta know, maybe if I know what this room is called, I can, uh, suss out the moon logic. Get ready for some action. Okay. Oof. Oh, that intelligence thing is really bugging me there. There's two L's, buddy. It's the state of, that's the state of mind. Yes. Yes, I would like to do that. I would like to go directly to the game, and then into the cockpit, and then out of the cockpit, and then into the air. That would be lovely. You are in an airplane. Look. Room. What is this room called? I'm in an airplane. Okay. Um, what, what is this airplane called? Exit, no. I don't know, shoot the door, shoot door. Hell it is. Pow! Oh, take the gun. Take the gun. You notice it says it's inappropriate. Didn't I take the gun just now? It says it's inappropriate, it doesn't say like, uh, you can't shoot any that's anyway enter cockpit enter cockpit so enter works open cabinet if I had the manual I know what the hell I'm doing take parachute enter airplane oh, fiddlesticks enter e exit and oh. look behind that noun. So now they'll work. No, but look, you can look out the window. What are you talking about? No, look is a verb. Okay. Um. Oof. How do I get out of this? I got this chicken shit outfit. You stole that. 
You stole that shit private. Okay, exit, leave. Um, vacate. No, that's hell no, that's not gonna work. Exit cockpit, but surely. Oh. What the hell is a passenger cabin called? You know, enter cabin, surely, cabin. <sighs> Go back. I'm lost. I don't know how to get out of the cockpit. 30 years on, I don't know how to get out of there, so. If you know how to get out of the cockpit, let me know. Exit, leave. It doesn't work. I don't understand it. It's very obtuse. I played other text graphic adventures in my in the Apple II. I got through them just fine, but this one I don't get it. It's perplexing. So this has been um, very little gameplay from Secret Agent Mission One. I don't think there's a Mission Two. I can't imagine why. Why wouldn't there be a Mission Two? Surely. This is a top seller. Anyway, thanks for watching. We will see you next time. If you love this game, tell me how to play it, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.